My name is Faceless Samurai and this is Xbox Daily News. Today, an Xbox News Senua Saga Hellblade 2 only peaked at 4,000 players. Actually, going by the Steam tracker, SteamDB, we can tell that the game has sold between 25,000 and 60,000 copies on Steam only, at peaking at around 3,900 players five days ago. The game hasn't been doing as good as we were hoping for, and even on the most played list on Xbox, it topped out at 30th most played game. Uh, this is a very short game, so you never know. Maybe people are going in and out and completing the game in one sitting, which could actually explain the reason why the numbers are so low. Dragon Quest 3 HD Remaster has now been confirmed for Xbox Series S and X. You know, following uh, Square Enix's strategy of going more and more multi-platform in the future, we have now gotten confirmation that the previously announced game isn't coming only to Nintendo Switch and PlayStation, but also coming to Xbox as well as PC and even the Windows Store, which is a good win for Microsoft as there is definitely a need for more JRPGs on the Xbox system. In Capcom news, according to Dusk Golem and Dustin Insider, there's a remake for Resident Evil 0 as well as Resident Evil Call Veronica in development right now. There were previously like rumors of a Resident Evil 1 as well as 5 remake and those have been proven to be false. As for Resident Evil 9, it apparently has been pushed back to late 2025 or 2026 and won't be revealed this summer at all. And finally, to end on a good note, thanks to Digital Foundry, we now know that both uh, Xbox Series S and X support AMD FSR 3 frame generation really well, with the game uh, Immortals of AVM having finally been patched and tested by Digital Foundry uh, late last week. And the Digital Foundry uh, Weekly, they actually talked about how this makes it possible for games that go from the 40 to 60 FPS range to reach all the way up to 120 frames per second. This is a high frame rate uh, territory. Obviously, it's very comforting for people that have 120 Hertz displays. Obviously, interpolated frames are going to lack the fidelity of standard frames. But this is good news and this is uh, something that we might be able to see more and more in the future as uh, support for games on uh, Unreal Engine 5 all have like support for AMD FSR 3 so if this gets implemented this is something we might see more and more in future games it obviously adds a bit of latency so for lower um, so for a slower paced game this could be a good thing and that's all the news for today catch you guys tomorrow cheers